Why is sociolinguistics? Chapter one of the textbook deals with this question. Sociolinguistics has been studied by lots and lots of different um, sociolinguists who have taken different approaches. Some sociolinguists look at how the way in which people talk varies by various different social factors like age and ethnicity and social class. Other sociolinguists choose to look at the little bits of interaction and how these create social meaning for the people that use them. Other people look at multilingualism, the way in which the use of different languages within a society um, is related to different kinds of social and political ideas, and also how this affects the realities for people's lives. So the last of these is what we start off with in the book. So the book is structured into three different sections. The first one looks at multilingualism in society. The second one looks at language variation and how it patterns across different kind of social demographic categories. And the third section looks at how people actually use language in interaction. One of the things that we've really focused on is the social function of language, how people use language to do things, and how they use it to construct identity. So in this first chapter, we've really just try, started to kind of set the scene for what's going on within the book, and then we'll take that forward later in other chapters.